Good morning, students. Today we're going to do writing the skills, and uh, we're going to write a letter of inquiry. And uh, in your uh, syllabus, what do you have? You have the letters to the higher authorities and for uh, seeking information, right? So here, right, so it is a letter of inquiry that we are going to write. We're going to seek information regarding a course that you want to do. Okay, so inquiry here, what is it? So inquiry means to inquiry, you are seeking information, right? So you are seeking information about the course. Now, I have the question, all of you. Write down the question. Write down the question. You intend to join coaching classes. Write down. You intend to join coaching classes at International Coaching Center. Write down the question. You intend to join coaching classes at Say, Amit's International Book Center, Vidhyana, right? So, you want to join coaching for accountancy? So, right, so we'll just change uh, this here. We want to join that. Now, write a letter of inquiry or write a letter seeking information to the administrator, to the administrator, right, who is there in charge, to the administration in charge of the institute seeking information about coaching classes, right? So you're going to write here a letter. Who is Pura Prabhakar? Is this Smith? Joining on this ID. Please rename your IDs and all because I will not able to identify it. You have to join on another ID. Okay, so I know your names and I will allow you to join accordingly. So please don't join from any other ID. Okay, so you have to write a letter to the administrator or the administration in charge seeking information about the timing, about the duration, about uh, the fee of the courses. Okay, and write down your address. You are you are say Rajesh or Rajni from you are writing a letter to Can you see the blackboard? Is it visible, all of you? Yes. So please write down. We are going to write this letter. Yeah. Now, what is the format of the letter? Yes. We all know the format of the letter. Please write down. Write down. First of all, is the sender. Who is the sender? You are the sender. Okay. So you write down. Alright, good. You just give us a 23.
Very good. This is very, very relevant to query here, Isha. 
Yeah. Yes. That we are here in this uh, hybrid mode, you know, nowadays uh, that, uh, yeah, so online uh, teaching has become a part of our lives, isn't it, right? Considering how we, was, uh, what this uh, pandemic is coming back again and again, right? Okay, yes, you can ask for that, okay? So please, whatever query comes to your mind, remember, first of all, give your introduction, give your purpose. Talk about every aspect. You are seeking information, right? So you're writing a letter to a higher authority. It could be a college or an institute, any organization. You want to seek uh, information regarding that, okay? Right? So you're writing this in inquiry, right? So what is this? I've talked about the material. What kind of material, right? Are you providing enough uh, content? Right? Is there enough practice? What about the batch science? And of course, uh, right, offline it definitely makes a lot of a difference. How many students are there? About the capacity also. And uh, yes, uh, if it is online, right? Uh, and uh, what is uh, the way of uh, feedback? How uh, like often these tests are done? And there is the weekly testing or monthly testing? And uh, what about the feedback and the response then what is uh, you can say the as you say the any special achievements of your institute that you would like to join an institute which has uh, a good enough what response which is there telling uh, about its achievements okay right and yes uh, the timings and if uh, things get back to normal and it is in offline mode Maybe living in a far part of the city, we have a transport facility, right? So can we avail the transport facility for those students? Naturally, and I feel, you know, personally, I feel because there are so many coaching centers, mushrooming in the city, and we have some students on their bikes going here and there and rushing from one place to another. And you know how you know sensible you are as a youngsters. So it is very, very important, I feel, that if, yes, the coaching centers can provide the transport, it will solve a lot of the traffic problem and even the parents will be a little relaxed, right? Because uh, the youngsters, they have big schools, they have to go for a coaching, we need a two-wheeler. And once you get the two-wheeler, yeah, you are there quite independent on your own, but we are not sensible enough to be sensible on the roads, right? Do you remember what we had done in the other chapter that uh, laws are never enforced or respected in India? Why are they not respected? Because you keep on breaking them, because you don't understand the importance, okay? So we'll uh, discuss that in another time. And then, yes, here, yeah, right? So how do you conclude your letter? You've given all your questions, you post all your queries, that I'll be thankful if you would send me uh, a brochure regarding all the things in my or would solve my queries at the earliest possible date. You can ask about when is the new batch going to start. So you're in class 10 and you're already worried about your class 11. What am I going to do? Or you're in 11. You want to be prepared for your class 12. So you want to get uh, registered beforehand so that you don't miss out. So some coaching centers are like that. So many, you know, like advanced uh, bookings only taking place and uh, already there's a long list of uh, students waiting for admission, right? So you can check in advance and see you want to join in class 12 when you already see the information in class 11, okay? So when is the new batch going to start? Is it just one batch in the year or there other batches also, number of uh, small, small batches that you keep on doing or they go on parallel, isn't it? Right? So, right, so is it a regular course, right, a regular coaching here? We're not about courses, about coaching classes. Is it a regular round the year or is it like a crash course? It's for two months or three months, whatever, isn't it? Right? So, in the end, you're going to give up the conclusion that, yes, I'd be thankful if you would provide me the above information at the earliest possible day so I can register myself for the next batch of the coaching classes. 
right? And wind up with your sincerely or yours truly. Okay? And to give your name over there. Is this clear? Is this clear? Yes? So this is information about a coaching class. You want to join this class and how you want to you know, know about its features. Okay? Right? So I, I think you'll be able to write this letter. Okay? Yes. Now uh, coming to the chapter Ailing Planet. I have uh, discussed questions with you all. Yes. All the questions have been discussed. And uh, the previous chapter Mother's Day also. I have discussed the question answers with you. And I will be sending you with the questions here in more detail, more questions here apart from the textual ones. So class uh, 11, I have told you time and again, you have to make a separate notebook where you have all the writing skills, you have all the answers which you have done and especially for the formats of the writing skills. So literature because you have to read the chapter and when uh, you, you can write the answers accordingly. But especially for your writing skills, you need to have the format, you need to have content which you can refer to. Okay, so I want you to make the PDF of your answers and send it to me for checking, right? And uh, uh, please uh, start uh, reading the chapters, go through your content, and because uh, we'll be starting uh, soon with our tests also. Okay, any doubts, any questions here? Okay, let's do one more question. I'll give you one question here about you want to make five days about you want to make uh, inquiries about uh, right so if you have to write that letter what are you going to write once again, this is a course, right? And uh, yes, after that, you'll be getting your certificate also. You will uh, be uh, like uh, going uh, through the, you know, the syllabus, the curriculum, and uh, there are many credits here which you want to know. So you want to join this course because you're very interested in, uh, you know, being a part of the hospitality industry. So once again, let us just list down the questions that you can ask. What are the queries here apart from these? These are, yes, once again, the right uh, similar questions you are going to ask. Okay, and here it is a hotel management course. You would want to know about, yes, the duration, about its timing, about the entrance, how to get it. Here we, we can talk about transport. But we can also ask about the course. You can ask about hostel facility, right? Because uh, nowadays so we have uh, yeah about the faculty. We want to know about the faculty, about the experiences. We can talk about um, what is it about a placement. Nowadays, we talk about this thing a lot. When I do a degree, when I do a course, I want to know what is going to happen in the future. Will I be eligible to get a job? Will I get a job on the campus itself? Yes, we talk about placements. We also talk about something else. Please, whenever you apply for any kind of courses, you apply for any diploma or degree, Make sure the institute, the university with which it is affiliated, is it recognized? Okay, because as per guidelines, you know, we have a list of universities which are recognized, and the courses which these universities offer, they are recognized, and there are so many other private universities coming up which are not even registered or which are not recognized. So you spend two, three years doing a course and you realize it is not recognized. I can't apply anywhere. So what? It's such a waste of time, 
effort, money. So when we write for a course, otherwise in real life also, when you want to join a course, make inquiries about it, right? Is this a recognized university? And if I do these courses, will I be eligible to apply for a job elsewhere? If I have to, you know, like, yes, go out of the city, go out of the state, is it recognized? Do people know about this course? Do people know about this university, right? Is it uh, under the other, you know, like, yes, uh, your universities here, right? You have the major universities, you have uh, uh, many colleges under the universities. So the courses which they offer, have they been affiliated? Are they recognized? So one of these things you have to remember in your real life also and when you're writing letter of inquiry. Please make a addition to these here. The questions, yes, you can ask for the faculty, is it experienced and uh, right, uh, what are the specializations if I want to do, right? What is hotel management? What all would you like to know about the hotel management course? Actually, how are you going to get an admission? What is the duration of the course? Right, and of course, we can't talk about the titles here because naturally, once you've gone there, you, you cannot uh, complain. You, you can't, this is not a coaching class. We will offer titling okay, morning batch, we will like do the evening batch. So, it's a course. So, one time it is going to be for all. Okay, right? Is it a regular course? Can I do it as correspondence or it, it like maybe as a part time course you want to do? So all these options you can have when talk about the duration, okay? And then yes, we will definitely, definitely talk about that it is recognized or not. Do other universities recognize it? Do other organizations recognize this course which is offered by this college? And we can talk about the faculty, right? Experienced faculty and uh, so many years of experience that the faculty has and naturally you have the confidence in yourself also. That okay, I've been saying that so this faculty is there, experienced, and uh, so they are going to be quite confident about uh, the changes which are there, quite up to date with all the changes, right? Yes, and uh, yeah, you can always talk about the safety and security of the students, which has to be a priority all of the days. So can you write these letters? Which letter are you going to write in the notebook? Please tell me. One of these letters you will be writing in the notebook. Because I want you to have a sample with you. I want you to have a format with you all. Okay? Right? So that uh, when uh, we uh, do our revision or when you have a test, you will have some kind of material to refer to. Okay? And what you see online and things like that, there's a lot of difference. There are a lot of changes here. They're not exactly similar to uh, that. There might be some deviations here and there. So it's always better to follow the format that has been discussed in the class. Okay, right? So Monday we start up with the next chapter from uh, Hornbill only, that is Browning the Persian. Okay, right? So we'll be starting with that chapter. Please read Alien Planet, read Mother's Day, two chapters we have discussed. And this week, yes, you are definitely going to have a class test. Am I clear? Yeah. And tell your friends also, those who are missing from the class, that uh, what are they doing in this free time? And why are they not joining the classes? Right?